Number 247 in the imprint range is Mrs Parker and the Vicious Circle. Now this is a biography of Dorothy Parker and it's set about the, in the 20s in New York around the Algonquin um, round table. A group of writers and satirists who get together and just live a life of, well, seemingly excess, uh, f barbed wits, um, fueled by alcohol, uh, flirted with despair and um, the kind of lives and loves uh, and affairs that they all have together over a period of time. That's nothing. I was 16 before I realised I was a boy. What convinced you? <laughs> Jennifer Jason Lee is Dorothy Parker in this and she is, as always, great. And the more I watch with uh, Jennifer Jason Lee, the more I appreciate that she is one of the greatest unsung actors of our generation because everything I see her in she's just amazing and she is again here in this one. The problem I had with this and I do have a problem is the characters are deeply unlikable and this is something that I'm discovering more and more with films. I, I, I need to have something to be able to attune myself to the characters to understand what why they're doing what they're doing to give them a little shining light so I have a glimmer of hope. Suspicions confirmed, Fred. I am a drunken whore. I'm an <laughs> artist, Mrs. Parker. Sometimes artists lose their balance. But the people fueled here are narcissistic um, people who are all about the initial kick of something, the, the, the addiction to drugs or alcohol or, or you know, people of the opposite sex. It's all about the here and now and not about the grand consequences. And these conversations that they have, although funny, um, although quick-witted and interesting of sorts, they lack any depth. These are people who literally focus on the here and now and don't talk about anything that actually matters. And I feel that the lack of that uh, substance to the film just gave me a, a, a look into a group of people that I found horrible. Their nightly rituals of drinking and infidelity and barbed comments at one another, uh, although funny on the surface, led to a kind of sadness deep below the surface, which I don't feel fully gets explored within the film. We are still married, aren't we, Eddie? Yes, so. I guess we ought to talk about getting a divorce then. I wanted to see more of what makes these people tick, why they're like that, why they're being this way, what in their life forces them to run away into the immediate rather than trying to fix what's going on. Everything seems so quick and easy for these people as money and alcohol flows. And I just didn't enjoy that aspect. It also covers a various time span and I never felt that the time really grew as more people moved into the group or fell away from the group, it offered some flesh blood, but then the continuing cycle would just happen again and again. I wanted to like this film more than I did. I thought the performances were good. I love the production design. Movies set in the 20s are always fascinating with the cars, with the clothing, with the decor, and I find it great here. The performances were all fine. I just couldn't penetrate the characters enough to want them to succeed, to be fully invested and interested in what they were doing. If you're um, interested in this group of real people, you had a fa fascination about them, you'd probably find something interesting here if you knew more about it. This just wasn't for me, which was really unfortunate because I've heard nothing but great things about this. It just wasn't my kind of movie. Let's dive into the extras and see what they have to offer. Extras for Mrs. Parker in the Vicious Circle. Let's go to the special features. Audio commentary by the director. A reflection of a reflection. An interview with the director is a newly produced piece. It's 35 minutes 13. Talking about working with the writing partner, getting the story nailed down, how they enjoyed kind of creating the story throughout that and his process in making the film. People, an interview with Campbell Scott is a new piece as well with 15 minutes 8 seconds. Talks about him getting the, this role, the kind of organic nature of making this film, working with Alan Rudolph 
and um, complexities. Interview with the casting director, Pam Dixon. This was um, probably my favourite one. It's 50 minutes, 8 seconds. And uh, she just seems like really energetic and really fun. Tells a great story about how she gets started in the business. It's just a great piece. Interview with the director, which is 6 minutes, 32 seconds. Composer, which is 17 minutes, 14 seconds. Archival. Would you kindly direct me to hell? The infamous Dorothy Parker documentary, which is great. It's 47 minutes, 56 seconds. It's run about infused with bits of the film, telling you about the kind of making the film, about her career and her life. It's a great extra. Trailer is 2 minutes, 7 seconds. And the TV spot is 32 seconds. And that's the extras for Mrs. Parker and the Vicious Circle. So there we have it, number 247 in the imprint range, Mrs. Parker and the Vicious Circle. I'd love to know your thoughts on the film, whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle. Let me know in the comment box below, we can have a conversation about this film. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership programme and manvfilm.com. Always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.